Wazowski. So, I feel like it is necessary to just be straight up honest about all of the stuff all of the time because if you tolerate bullcrap, you're bullcrap, essentially. Um, so, the, there's a couple of points that I really want to hit in this video and that is one, doing what you feel you need to do to become your best self and not caring about what other people think about it. And two, uh, the, I'm just gonna call out the bullshitters and any professional uh, organization, industry, you know, be it sports, bodybuilding, whatever. Um, so, I'll just jump right into it. I, since the age of, well, I've only been training like seriously two years, so probably since I was like, you know, the end of my 18th year of life uh, through 19, and then I just turned 20, uh, so, you know, a little over, you know, roughly two years, I've been training serious with like a good diet and whatnot, and actual like good training, and before then, I started training when I was like 16, and just kind of like doing like the gym bro split bull crap, um, you know, not eating nearly enough and doing all of the, the you know, curls for girls and whatnot, and it didn't work, obviously, well, you know, I mean, it works to an extent if you're a beginner. Um, anyway, so... I started training and I was like, whoa, this is the shit. I feel better. I look better because I used to be fat. And then, you know, so I was like, dad, what can I take to make this? Like, what can I take to make this the shit? Because since a young age, I fucking hate this goddamn setup. So since a young age, I have loved bodybuilding, loved the the look, you know, just the sport in general. I mean, everybody, you see Arnold when you're young, and you're like, damn, well, you know, I want to be that guy. Um, so that's that was me. It's still me today. I would love for that to happen. Um, but the the thing that that I knew immediately was these people aren't natural. And I want to be there, and so I don't want to be natural. Nobody walks around and wants to be natural. Who, like, you walk into the gym and you're like, wow, some of these guys look like fucking awesome, so how do I get there? You have to use performance enhancers. Like, you have to do it to achieve certain things. And, again, I don't want to train naturally. You don't feel as good. You don't look as good. You, all of this crap, you know, it's, it's all... It's, you go in there and you want to be healthy, go for it. Like, if you live an unhealthy lifestyle and you want to change your life, go in there and, and do it and, and be healthy. But I want to be extreme with it. Like, I want to have this certain look one day because my ultimate goal is to compete on a professional level on a bodybuilding stage. And I, that, 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 that is the end goal. Um, and be it the Lord comes first or I step on a fucking bodybuilding stage as a professional. I'm good with either one of those things, but we'll just see which comes first. Um, so, like, I knew from, like, early age, you've got to take drugs to get to this level. So I'm training for, you know, like, a year, and I'm like, Dad, look, what can I take, you know? Get me into this world of drugs. And he's like, take Haladrol. And, like, back in its heyday, I hear Haladrol was the shiznit. Maybe not so much today, you know? It's kind of like watered-down ingredients, and it's just not as good, you know, not as potent. Um, because, you know, fucking FDA wants to get into all of the shit. So, we took that, you know, three or four cycles, I guess you want to call it. 
and I always felt better. You know, I was like, this is great. You know, you do see better results. And I developed a little bit of gyno during that. Not mm, terribly, but a little bit. Um, I noticed, and it's kind of gonna pain the ass. But you, you just, you just like, okay, pros and cons. What well, pros outweigh the fucking cons? So I'm gonna continue doing these things. Then you fast forward to when I'm training serious, and you know, I go into the gym, immediately point out a guy. This guy comes in, trains alone, busts it out late at night, and he's like, I could tell he competed just because I study the fucking sport. That's all I've done my entire life. I study two things, Star Wars, because I'm a fucking nerd, and uh, bodybuilding, because I love it. I love both of them. I go in there, I'm like, dude, you compete. Like, let's go, watch me pose, and then I wanna do some shit. He watches me pose because I thought I was the shit. And he's like, you're not nearly big enough to do anything significant in life. <laughs> Didn't say it like that, but that's basically what I got out of it. And so I was like, okay. So we go, you know, eight, end of 18, and then turn 19, and then we train it together. And I, for like a year, okay, puts me on a solid diet, training with them. You know, it's the best I've ever trained, hardest I've ever trained. Good, good shit. Starting to look much better, feel much better. Wasn't using Hydro all the time. I stopped using everything. He was like, "Dude, stop taking shit." All right, I won't take shit. Too young, whatever. You know, we trained for like eight, nine, ten months, and he's like, "Look, let's put you on some Anavar, real light shit." Okay, I'll take Anavar. Felt better, trained better, looked better, loved it. Okay, I turned twenty. Boom, all right, let's start you on this, okay? Because I'm like, dude, let's, like, I'm ready. Like, I'm not fucking dicking around here. I want to compete before, you know, I'm 35. So, let's do it. I am, oh, look, I am going to say this before I jump into the next situ- like the next topic of calling out things. The I've run Halidraw. I've run a very weak strain of SARMs. I forget which one it was. Didn't really work. Um... I've run Anavar for the last year, probably, maybe a little less, and I am on week two of TRT, like just, you know, second injection today. Um, and so I'm a week into it, really, uh, I guess this would be starting week two into that. Still on Anavar, um, kind of doing both of those. And so, like, I, I love it. But I also know, like I have, like I, I need to be doing these things in order to get where I want to be. So that's where I'm at. So that's the only education I have on other than my research, people that I know that I have, you know, gone and, and learned from their experiences, and that's, you know, I watch and I learn. That's pretty much all I can do is watch and learn or experiment myself. And so that's what I'm doing. Um, so now that that's kind of over, let's jump into my next thing, which is organizations that claim they drug test their athletes and well, and some do, some really do. I believe there is a large amount that do, but the NFL or, uh, I don't know what what pro tennis would be, golf even. If you are an athlete and you are performing and competing or playing at a professional level, you are taking something. You may not be putting a needle in your butt, but you are taking a form of an enhancer. And that's just that's just the facts of the matter, and you gotta think. These these organizations that are worth millions and billions of fucking dollars, you don't think they got a little hush money? Like, are they giving away hush money? But like, hey, we'll just print up some bull crap and we'll give it to the people. Because let me tell you something. You go watch a high school game, football game, it is not nearly as interesting as an NFL football game. Right? Right. We could probably all fucking agree. And here's why. They're professional athletes. They are enhanced athletes. Nobody wants to go to a 
granted, I love bodybuilding, so like I'll watch natural and unnatural, whatever, you know? But even in unnatural competitions, they're not really natural. Like, some of them are, but you can get away with so many things with drugs nowadays. Like, not all drugs are going to stay in your system. Even testosterone, it's only rampant in your system for like four, I think it's right under 50 days. Granted, I, you know, this is just per my research. Like, I don't, like, there's not really much, you, like, after that, with a killer fucking detox and your fucking meals are fucking on point, and then you even, like, bridge it with, like, an oral, which will be out of your system in two weeks, and then, so, you, I mean, you know, and however many days that is, you're clean. Like, you have fucking nothing. So you go piss in a cup, sure, go fucking for it. Or someone's gonna fucking lie for you. Especially when millions of dollars are on the line. Think about that. Do we really want to kick these guys out when they provide millions of dollars? Or is it just easier to tell the world that these people are, are you know, not on drugs, we drug tested them, yada, 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 all right? We're gonna make all the fucking money if we lie to these people. Because it's the only way to make money. Like that, if you think about it, like that's how people can make money. Just like, and this is where we're getting into next, the supplement industry fucking liars like for real if I drink this protein powder and I use this creatine and I snort your pre-workout I'm gonna look like the Hulk sign me up what are you putting in your fucking, your for your pre-workout trend that's not how it works that supplements have their place in fitness and in being healthy like when you have to get in an extra 60 grams of protein in your diet and you don't want to go fucking pork down some chicken. I said pork and chicken in the same fucking sentence. Get over it. You don't want to go scarf down some chicken or whatever it is. You're like, mm, no, it's inconvenient. F throw down a protein shake. You want to be a little more focused in the gym. Take a pre-workout. I personally just eat before I go work out, you know? Um... It, it, <laughs> But they lie. They are, if you take this, you'll look this way. If you use this, you can look this way. It's bullcrap. And and they lie and they lie and they lie. And it's like, why? Like, if you think about it, take a seat, take a step back. Or a seat back, take take whatever back and think. What do you want? You want to look like a bodybuilder? Eat like an animal, train like an even bigger animal. You're gonna have to probably dip into some PEDs. And don't let people judge you because everybody's doing something. Think about it. Why is this guy so happy? He's doped up all the time on weed. Why is this guy always pissed off? Well, he's probably been drinking too much because that's what he does. Or just, it goes on and on and on and on. Why are these people acting the way they act all the time? Well, because they're using some sort of substance. You know, if it's extreme. It's like, okay, so I want to look good all the fucking time, and I'm going to take these things, and if I do them the right way, there's really not, there's no negatives in that. And you're going to judge me? What? You can't judge me. First of all, I don't give a fuck what you think. I'll be open till the day I die. And granted, you may think that'll be tomorrow because I stuck a needle in my butt cheek, but it's not going to be. Because people can say this over and over and over again. There are substances that you can buy on the shelf today from like the Walgreens or CVS or whatever the hell you are near. Take multiple of them and die. But like if I draw back three units of something and put it in my butt cheek, I'm not going to die. You know, like I'm not, it's not how that works. Like some health complications in the future that I'll take care of. And granted, I'm not ever going to do anything more than I should because I value my body. I love the way I look. My goal is to use as little as possible to look as good as possible. I know that I'm going to have to get a bit extreme to some people, but even then it's, I'm comfortable doing it. So fuck what you think is basically what I'm getting at. So that's my two things in this video. Uh, first, get comfortable with who you are and what you want to be and use whatever the hell you want to use to achieve the lifestyle or look you want because at the end of the day 
everybody's gonna have their fucking opinion and it doesn't matter. Because if I look better than you, then I look better than you and you can piss off. And if I don't look better than you, then good on you. And if you're using drugs and you're lying about it, you're a piece of shit, that's on your conscience. I don't care. Third of all, you need to be more visual and open-minded to the fact that just because these multi-million dollar organizations are telling you something is one way, it's probably not that way and it's the other way. Just think about it. When all of this money's on the line, you think that they're gonna have your best interest and your opinion in mind? Probably not. So get real with yourself and be like, mm, yeah, that guy, the, the, the wide receiver for that team, Granted, I don't do sports, so like I'm just throwing shit out there. But like, he looks like a bodybuilder, but so does the lineman, and so does the quarterback, and so does the fucking runner, and so th they all look like bodybuilders. Cat delts ripped all the fucking time. How? How does this happen? Really? They're not on drugs? You can kiss it, bruh. They're on something. Again, may not be a needle, but they are popping pills, okay? It's just the way it is. And I wish that people would educate themselves because then the world would be better if everybody just wasn't so fucking stupid. Like, and again, I just went off on a fucking rant. But it's really four main things. People suck. Do what you're going to do. People suck again and a lie. Don't believe people that lie. It's that simple. I could go into more details, but I'm not going to. I want to spare your time. I hope that everybody can sort of understand the this. Um, if, if you see the video, I, I hope that if you were kind of on the fence about doing something, do what's going to benefit your life. Go about it the smart way and stop listening to people that don't have your best interest in mind. Okay? That is literally it. Dr. Sheriff, sign in the fuck off. I'm gonna drop this video, uh, like, today. What is it? 12, it's not 12 something at all. It's, um, I'm cutting this out the video. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna leave it because I'm fucking real. Deuces, motherfuckers. <laughs>